cross section is tricky. So it's more productive to this one as Thank you, sir. Good morning to everyone. I am humbled, I am honored to present my work at this prestigious forum and I am very thankful to all the organizers for providing me the opportunity to present my work. The title of my study is Efficacy of Different Treatment Regimes Against the Symptoms of COVID-19. In this study, basically, the efficacy of allopathic medicine is compared with some of the potential medicinal plants in the treatment of COVID-19. As we know that novel coronavirus is a single-stranded RNA virus and it leads to a respiratory condition known as severe acute respiratory syndrome, which was later on named as COVID-19 by WHO. Currently, very limited treatment options are available. Azithromycin is one of them. Azithromycin is basically an antibacterial agent which basically inhibits the bacterial protein synthesis and later on it was found to have anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and immunomodulatory actions, and all these actions are required for the treatment of COVID-19. Similarly, Avermectin is another drug which is basically an anti-parasitic agent, but it is also found to have antiviral activity. It is active against many viruses, and currently a lot of researches are going on to explore the role of Avermectin in the treatment of COVID-19. Thymoquinone, it is an active ingredient of a very useful and very important plant which is known as Nigella sativa. In English it is known as black cumin or black seeds, while in Hindi and Urdu it is known as Kalbanji. It has a lot of beneficial effects and along with other beneficial effects, it is also found to have antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antiviral and immunomodulatory actions. Again, all these effects, all these actions are required for the effective and successful treatment of the COVID-19. All these effects are also found in a, a very important other medicinal plant which is known as sumac. So basically, in this study, there is a comparison of the efficacy of different treatment regimes against the coronavirus symptoms. In order to achieve this objective, total 150 patients were included in the study. They were divided into three groups. Group A received azithromycin for 5 days, Group B received azithromycin plus avermectin for 5 days, while Group C was treated with the seeds of thymoquinone and sumin. Along with these medicines, all the participants were also given paracetamol, vitamin C, vitamin D and zinc supplements. All the participants were advised to revisit the hospital if they noticed worsening of the symptoms or Three of the mentioned symptoms, that is fatigue, uh, fatigue, um, diarrhea, loss of taste, loss of smell, body aches, and fever. If any three of these symptoms, if they disappear for at least 72 hours, then they have to report it to the treating physician. Regarding the results, 61% of the participants were male, while 39% were female. 56% of the participants were having no comorbidities, while 24% of the participants were having hypertension, 13% were having diabetes, and 7% were having other diseases like asthma, COPD, etc. 49% of the participants experienced multiple symptoms, while 16% suffered only from fever, so fever was found to be the most frequent solo symptom among the participants, while diarrhea was the least common that was almost 2% in the participants. When the efficacy of different treatment regimes was compared, all of the treatment regimes were found to be effective, but the combination of azithromycin and avermectin was found to be more effective in reducing the duration of the symptoms of COVID-19. Various in vivo and in vitro studies have been performed and they have shown the effectiveness of Avermectin in the treatment of COVID-19. Various mechanisms are also proposed regarding the antiviral activity of Avermectin. It is usually believed that it inhibits the viral replication and secondly, it is capable of inhibiting the entry of viral proteins into the nucleus of the host cells. Various other studies have also confirmed the anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, immunomodulatory and antiviral actions of both thymoquinone and sumin. 
So the results of all these studies are in accordance with the results of our study. The conclusion of our study is that combination of Avermectin and Azithromycin was found to be more effective in the treatment of COVID-19. Based on the results, it can be recommended that for mild to moderate COVID-19 patients, seeds of thymocinone and sumic can be given alone, but for seriously ill patients, they can be given along with allopathic medicines in order to obtain or in order to achieve the synergistic effects. These are the references. This was all about my presentation. Thank you, sir. Yes, we can see your side.